Hey, I'm Dr. Weiner. I want to talk to you about the new filler from Galderma called Contour. And Contour is approved for the cheek, mainly the medial anterior cheek. It's, it's actually placed in the superficial fat, which is an area that we haven't done a lot of filler before. So let me explain the anatomy and the anatomical considerations when you're injecting Contour. So a little bit about Contour, actually. Contour is an expression technology. It has very large particle size, but it has a lot of tissue integration as well. So it's a very soft look, uh, not very firm. We like to put contour in this area of the medial cheek, sort of right here, okay? But let me dive down a little bit into the anatomy of this area. So what you have is you have the orbital retaining ligament, which is gonna run around the infraorbital rim. And then you have the zygomatic cutaneous ligament. And that's gonna run about right here. Okay, and then it's gonna come up over to the zygoma. So the prezygomatic space is, is a deep space in here, which is where you wanna place your deep uh, injections. And that's deep to the SMAS, uh, between the periosteum and the SMAS, with the upper border being the infraorbital rim or the orbital retaining ligament. And then the lower part being the zygomatic cutaneous ligament. So right here lies that malar fat path. So this is important because in my experience, you do not want to inject that malar fat pad with this product or with any HA product to avoid malar edema. That is because that there's lymphatic chains that run from about the lateral canthus down and from the medial canthus down. Okay, so uh, on the lateral aspect, there's a deep and a superficial lymphatic chain, and on the medial surface, there's a superficial lymphatic chain. So in this area in particular, disruption of that superficial lymphatic chain can lead to malar edema. So that's why in this area, I like to place the filler deep to that. The deep lymphatic chain actually is not affected by that deep filler. It's that superficial chain. So I like to use lift and contour points that we use for lift as well. And um, the lift point is one centimeter from the orbital rim. And you draw a line perpendicular to a line drawn from the helix, the root of the helix to the nasal base. So that ends up being approximately right here. So that's my entry point to get into that prezygomatic space. And then the contour point is one centimeter from the lateral canthus and you drop a perpendicular, and at, you draw a line from the nasal base, nasal ala, and it, so it's about right here. So right here, I wanna fill this area and avoid that malar fat pad. So lift point is approximately right here. I love to do a little tap. These are the Easy Guide 25 gauge 40 millimeter cannula, or one and a half inch also. So now I'm gonna lift, and by lifting, I'm gonna pop through that SMAS and get along the periosteum in that prezygomatic space. So inferiorly, I'm pushing up against the zygomatic cutaneous ligament. Superiorly, I'm pushing up the orbital retaining ligament. And I'll make sure that I'm deep. I'll try it one more time. And now I'm on the periosteum, okay? And I'm just gonna fill this space up with approximately a half a cc. I'm constantly moving here in this prezygomatic space. So contour is approved for deep and superficial injections. There's a little bit of resistance when pushing through a 25 gauge cannula. And that's approximately 5.5 cc. Now I'm gonna go to the contour point, which is again at the nasal base and so forth right here. And I'm gonna go in that superficial fat pad, okay? But avoiding that malar fat pad. So if you can see, if you spread, you get into that superficial space, okay? And now I'm in that superficial space, but I'm below the zygomatic cutaneous ligament, okay? And I'm just injecting, so this is supposed to give 
that cheek volume, but not lifting, okay? That's why I'm doing it right here. So we haven't had a good filler for this area in the medial cheek, and that's why this fills a void, okay? So that's two, uh, maybe I'll go to point three, and then we'll stop, okay? Well, it shouldn't take you very long if you're in the proper plane. Okay, there are cases of aberrant angular arteries that can be in this area, so that's why I'm constantly moving. I'll go to the full one cc. She's gonna appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So there's contour, uh, deep injection into the prezygomatic space, and then a superficial injection using my contour point and the medial superficial fat pad. So now we're entering that lift point again. And um, I, whenever you wanna get deeply with your cannulas, you're lifting and you're diving down through the SMAS. And you're gonna hear, feel, there's a the pop. Now I'm through the SMAS along the periosteum. Okay, so here we go. And now we're going to do that contour point, staying away from that malar fat pad. So this is in the superficial fat pad and the medial superficial fat pad. And so you see there's a different plane here. You can see the cannula in that superficial plane. And spreading the skin helps you get in that plane. And I'm not going, Dr. Surik talks about injecting between the goalposts, the goalposts being the medial and the lateral superficial lymphatic chains. And they're basically at the medial and lateral canthus. I like that analogy. He's a football guy coming from Kansas City. So now I'm just filling that superficial fat pad with this product. And careful not to inject in that Malar fat pad. So here we go. So there's contour on both sides using the 25 gauge soft fill cannulas. She did great. Thank you. <laughs>